Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new video, I'm happy to see you here. Lately I've been working on a sci-fi greeble generator for Blender and I'm happy to say that it is finally here. The generator comes with a geometry node setup and more than 70 3D models. In this video I'll be showing you how to use it and also a time lapse of how I created a sci-fi artwork using it. You can download the greeble generator on my Gumroad page for $2, link in the description below. Now let's begin. Locate the blend file that you downloaded, then simply append the collection called Assets. After you've done that, find the blend file again and go to Node Tree and append the one called EZ Greebles and the one called Greeble Shader. Now you can create or import a mesh that resembles the overall shape of what you are going for. Add the Geometry Nodes modifier and then select the Geometry Nodes setup called EZ Greeble. From here you can add different collections as instances. Simply select a collection in the modifier and change the scale, density, rotation and so on, until you are happy with the result. You can add up to 5 different collections and individually control them all. You can use the assets that come with the Greeble generator but of course you can also make your own assets, or download packs of sci-fi assets online. If there are any assets that you don't like, you can simply move them to another collection. If you just have a bunch of details everywhere, the final render can easily become hard to read, so what you can do is either use weight painting to control the density like this, Or you can use the build and textures that come with the Greeble generator like the brick texture. Open the geometry node setup and plug in the output of any of the textures into the density input of the distribute points on faces node. From here you can play around with some settings until you're satisfied with the result. Greeble Generator also comes with a simple semi-procedural shader that you can use to create all sorts of variations. You can change some basic settings like hue, saturation, value and more. You can also add your own PBR textures to the shader. All the assets come with a simple cube projection which should work with all tile-able textures. There are tons of settings, so I recommend just playing around with them all until you are happy with the result. You can of course also open the geometry node setup and play around. Now that we've learned about the generator, let's put it to use and create an awesome sci-fi artwork. 